You can see behind me a couple of projects that are in the works. We've got a big old high tunnel kit that came recently that will make some time. We'll document that, a 14 by 50 foot high tunnel to go in our neighbor's yard. But last night, Sasha and I went downtown, I forgot it was Halloween for a minute, and I guess we went trick-or-treating in our own way and collected leaf bags, a whole bunch of compost for our chickens, and even some burlap sacks from a coffee roasting company. So the work this morning is to figure out getting all this into the chicken yard in a meaningful and thoughtful way. Phew, I'm stuffed. That's cute. All these little cute things on these bags. Well, I guess that's what the truck is probably feeling. I built these side rails for the truck a ways back out of some simple scraps of wood. And as long as there's not a huge heavy load and leaf bags, they're heavy, but they're not, you know, bricks or anything. Um, it lets us go up quite a bit more. In fact, this truck is sitting pretty low. I need to get all this weight off of it sooner than later. Leaf bags are a pretty amazing resource. You know I'm really into them if you've watched this channel before. I'm guessing a lot of you are really into them as well. We try to look for bags ideally that are mainly just leaves. The likelihood of any spray or nastiness seems pretty negligible if it's just people raking up their leaves. Uh, lawn clippings or you know pulled plants in an otherwise very manicured and pristine lawn is questionable. But <clears throat> what I'm gonna start doing is focusing on bringing this into the chicken yard. We're gonna use the carbon from this in a number of ways to buffer the chicken composting operation. In other words, to bulk out a whole lot of extra absorbent carbon dry material underneath where the food scraps are going. We've been running a little lean on that. We ran out of sawdust and it's also rained quite a bit. So things are getting a little wetter than I'd like. We're adding charcoal from our wood stove, but we really need that bulk carbon. So the leaf bags are gonna be incredibly helpful in this context as well as in our chickens deep litter method. We're gonna want throughout the fall and winter, Sasha cleaned this out the other day, put a whole bunch of material down in that corner of our chicken yard. And so we're gonna to wanna to have a lot of dry leaf bags in here. So it's super absorbent, it's insulative, it's comfortable for our ladies' precious little toes throughout the winter basically just making it as comfortable as possible for them while absorbing all the excess nutrient from their manure. And we're also going to want to bring this winter composting run back online now that it's getting colder. So part of the work today is to figure out, well, where do these dry hay bales go so they can be stored dry, useful for bedding in the chicken coop or other places where we need that bulk carbon? And how do we reclaim the space to be useful for composting, maybe with a good bed of leaves as a baseline? So as per usual, in order to do one thing, there's 15 other little things that need to be done first, but that's just the way it goes. I just took this scene apart the other day. This was an experiment we did this summer. You can see where we laid black locust rails on the ground here. We put pallets on top and then we had mesh so we could do a, f a four foot wide air prune bed. It did decently well, but I, I feel like in the chicken yard, we'd rather have more space for the composting more space for our hens to scratch. So kind of retiring the complexity of these infrastructure scenes in here and making it a little bit more open and modular and adjustable. But we'll take those locust rails, we'll take those pallets and figure out a new layout in that corner. The high tunnel came on that pallet, which is all red oak. So I think we can use a space back in there to stage all of these leaf bags and hay bales. So I'm gonna get onto that. Before I start chipping away at that, it's nice to dump a little bit of leaf bag and maybe even some food scraps. When you first dump them out, that's the time to really look for, you know, little plastic bags or candy wrappers or trash that you want to pick out. Pick it out as soon as you can if you find it. For the most part, if they're leaf dominant, it's mainly people raking up their yards. There's less trash, at least in our area. But use your judgment. If it's really trashy or if it's really a hassle, maybe it's not worth it. But our hens really love this material and it's so good for our composting system. And we'll take these bags and lay them up in our firewood shed to get really nice and dry. And for those of you that have ordered from us, these probably look familiar. Sasha uses them as our packing material so that the plants that we ship arrive to folks in a safe way and we're reusing something. I guess you can sheet mulch with it when it gets to your spot. It's a good reminder that in a chicken yard, it's actually in your best interest and the chicken's best interest to leave things lying around for a bit. These hay bales sat here all summer. They were used as a pea trellis 
And look at all the millipede. Tons and tons of millipede babies all through there. The chickens are having an amazing time with it. And then this hay can be brought back to the beginning of the pipeline. So anytime we leave material for a while and then move it, it actually is a benefit for this whole system. So it's good to take that pressure off yourself. You can leave that pallet laying on the ground for a month or two. And when you flip it, <laughs> the chickens will be happy. I know they're having so much fun pecking out every last little living being under those hay bales. There's some real value too. If you're going to flip something over and let the hens work at it to give them a certain amount of time, but then cover it back up again with something else. And that allows these populations of the pill bugs and the earthworms and the millipedes and the centipedes and the everypede, the impede to be able to keep expanding. Uh, if, they're, if they give free choice unlimitedly, they'll hammer through this until every last little uh, millipede in there is gone. Just pulled this bale back. Talk about a good example. Can you see? That's what was happening under here and they're raining off of the bale. Piles of debris in the chicken yard. You can call it messy if you want, or you can call it ingenious design of creating protein and mineral rich depots for your hen's future needs. The choice is yours. You see what I mean by you gotta do the first thing before the second thing so you can come back to the first thing before the first thing. Getting the leaf bags off, finally get to the food scraps, and then we'll get to the burlap sacks and figure out what those are gonna do for us, for our chickens. I think it's a decent, albeit very loose, proof of concept. I think in the future what I would do is lay out some pallets on the ground, decoupled from the ground so they don't wick water, and then instead of hay bales, use pallets with some posts hammered in so that these bags can lay on their sides. It seems like with a good tarp over all this when it's said and done, I'm gonna go up basically to here in a nice arc. We should be able to shed water and then pull bags out and they should hopefully stay dry. But you folks out there, you're all very... <laughs> what are your ideas? Different ways that I could stack these and organize these, keep them in their bags so that we can move them into the chicken coop conveniently in the winter. That's the start of a really nice scene. Layers of leaves and food scraps, leaves and food scraps. It'll keep our chicken super engaged. All the excess nutrient leaches into something that can and wants to absorb. It's beautiful. <laughs> this is entirely coming from a waste stream. It's giving our chickens ex really lovely pleasures, good activity, reason to be outside and having fun, creating more quality eggs for us, creating compost. These sorts of systems, these integrative systems, valuing the marginal, valuing waste streams. I know, she's like, shut up, dude. Just put leaves on the ground and go away. You know what? You're right. Thanks for watching. <laughs>